here today i'm gonna eat you guys on how to conduct practical 6.4 the alternative phylogenetic tree construction so let's get started hold up make sure you guys have them at least till 6.2 because we are going to need those sequences all right then first up download mega application you could type mega software or straight to the link provided in the practical make sure you accept the condition Click on student, write UPAM as institute, and download it. Install. I'm gonna take some time. Ta da! We're true and ready to go. So, once in Mega, select Align, Edit, Build Alignment, Create a New Alignment. Okay, and DNA to get to here. Now, Let's paste all the 16 as RNA sequence in Mega. First, copy the sequence. You can scroll it, right click and hit copy, or you can command to Ctrl A and Ctrl C. Now paste it in Mega. Select edit and paste. Or Ctrl V to paste it all. Quick tip. Before we do the mega file, make sure you align the sequences to MSA, cluster W or preferably muscle which has a better MSA alignment. Select all the sequences by Ctrl A, then select alignment, align by muscle or cluster W, left all, default and OK. Wait for it, gonna take some time, select OK if this happened anyway, and done. Now what is left? is the mega file. So, click data, explore alignment, and mega format to save the alignment. Let's call this file 16S RNA gene sequence alignment. Copy and paste it twice. Click OK and no for protein coding nucleotide and we got our file. Head back to the main mega menu, click on file, and open a file session. Select our file to retrieve the line. Now, let's get our tree. Now, let's head to the phylogeny menu. Click on maximum since it's the first option and make sure the analysis preference is in bootstrap method. Normally, we'll go with replicas of 100 to 1000 in range. It's more probabilities. And there we have it, the maximum phylogenetic tree. Now you can try it with all the different trees and see the difference. I hope you enjoy my video. See ya! Wait, you're still here? Oh, you want to know how to interpret the phylogenetic tree results? Well, I could explain to you how the basics. You can interpret them whether they're root like mine or unroot trees. Or you can also explain the distance species to the branch point or the relative genes to the sister taxa. Or maybe we can further explain the function of why we're using cladogram or phylogram um, because the evolutionary that can be easily seen or circular because they can actually contain more data well instead of hearing me rambling i think i'll just provide you guys the link below for further details so this is mazatu husna 191795 signing out